There are so many misconceptions, misunderstandings, and even mystery about bitless riding. But this just shouldn't be. Riding bitless is as old as the first day that we decided to climb on the back of a horse. A lot of my training, I heard, shuttle the bit, shuttle the bit. Shuttling the bit, learning how to work the bit, this is no part of riding. And I rode this way for 35 years. I didn't know, I didn't know. That's what everybody's been teaching. It's the wave, and it's time for a new way. Stuck in an old way, something from another day. It's interesting something now to come back and revisit my childhood, but bitless. Um, it really requires a lot more thought, a lot more sensitivity, and um, a lot more rhythm and flow. Almost like, almost like playing a piece of music. I got this idea, I'm not sure why, but I wanted to teach my mare the Spanish walk. It was a funny idea because now looking back, our communication was not great. I didn't know what to do. There was not a lot of information available on the internet. There was not a lot of information available in books. I had to take the small amounts of information that I got and I just had to start. I thought, what's the worst thing that can happen? The worst thing that can happen is I don't get a Spanish walk, but I learned something about myself and I learned something about my horse in the process. Oh boy. It was like opening up a treasure chest, an absolute treasure chest. Not only in six months time did I have a Spanish walk, but I have a completely different relationship with this horse. I will speak for you when you have no voice. I won't say what's right or wrong. All I want to show us. I just want what's best for you. So what are we fighting for? You've always been we showed each other every day what the next step was going to be. And you're going to see what that next step is going to be. Your, you and your horse are on this journey together, and you will take every step of the way together. If you don't know what the whole map of that journey is right now, it doesn't matter. The 10,000 step journey begins, or the 10,000 mile journey begins with the first step. Keep the hands lower and keep the reins a little shorter, especially in this bridle. I think that's the so, This is a lifestyle. It's not a sport. I mean, it is a sport, but it shouldn't be looked at as just a sport. Anything beautiful that you're going to want to do with your horse, and it should be, why would you want to do anything less than something beautiful with your horse, is going to be something that takes time and something to relish and to relish each step of it on the way and not to get so hung up on the finished product and maybe imagining that there's never going to be a finished pro uh, product or a finished project and that it's always going to be a work in progress.